Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Curse News. And as always, we've got some amazing news from different theme parks, rides, attractions and events all over the world. So let's get straight into the news today. Our top story for tonight, Luna at Liseberg in Sweden has officially begun testing. And this is obviously one step closer to this brand new attraction in Sweden officially opening for Liseberg's 100th anniversary. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, Luna is a brand new Vekoma family shuttle coaster opening at Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden for the 2023 season. And when it opens, it's going to be, the, I believe, the world's tallest and fastest family shuttle coaster. I believe it's like 45 miles per hour top speed and a maximum height of 100 foot tall. So that is pretty big for a family coaster. And obviously, because it's a shuttle coaster, it's not a complete full circuit layout. The ride starts, right, by basically going up a lift hill backwards, like backwards out of the station, up a backwards lift hill, gets the highest point of the attraction, then it stops, goes down the lift hill at a uh, uh, high speed through the station, circles around the entire land of Luna Park, which is obviously seems like a, a vintage, like, funfair themed land, and then it goes into the, like, vertical spike, of about 100 foot tall, but obviously because they don't have enough speed to go over it, it goes backwards through the layout into the station. And obviously, it's a great fam a great addition to Liseberg in Sweden. Um, and obviously, it's a good family addition and a great expansion to the Luna Park area as a whole. And this brand new attraction recently started testing like earlier this week, and it looks fantastic. I mean, the theming on this attraction is pretty cool, I must say. Um, it seems like, it, it kind of reminds me of like a steampunk sort of like Jules Verne sort of novel of our, like from the earth to the moon kind of like space mountain mission to at disneyland paris a little bit but obviously as a family coaster and outdoors um and obviously this brand new attraction i believe it's going to open in april uh, so next month um april this year and it looks absolutely huge and i wonder where that vacomas i was going to say i wonder where vacomas boomerang coasters are going to go from here Obviously, Vekoma are planning to build the Super Boomerang Coasters, which are going to be more extreme versions of their new Boomerang Coasters that they've been building for the past few years. Um, but it's not going to be a family layout, it's going to be a, like a frill layout with inversions and I believe a launch as well. So that sounds fantastic, and obviously this ride, they're even making their family uh, Boomerang Coasters bigger. And this one's about 100 foot tall, which is huge uh, for a family coaster. And Luna at Liseberg looks absolutely fantastic, and I cannot wait for this brand new attraction to open for the 100th anniversary of this theme park. In other news today, Chessington World of Adventures has officially confirmed that their brand new themed area, World of Jumanji, will officially open on the 15th of May 2023. And this is fantastic news, but I think we kind of saw this coming a little bit. Um, that it was going to be not open in March, and so we're going to open later on in the season. But if you know what I'm talking about. Basically, World of Jumanji is a brand new themed land opening at Chessington and World of Adventures in Leatherhead, England, which is like down south, um, near London. It is going to be home to three brand new attractions, two flat rides. Out of these three attractions, there are two flat rides and a brand new roller coaster. So I'm going to go over the flat rides first. The flat rides we have are Mamba Strike and Ostrich Stampede. Um, obviously this whole area is due to the Jumanji film franchise from Sony. So the names are going to fit with that whole area uh, and integrate it in. But obviously um, Mamba Strike is an SBF top dance attraction. Um, and I believe um, like Ostrich Stampede is like a techno jump attraction. Very similar to the one at Fantasy Island. Obviously due to Ostriches. But the highlight attraction of this area is the brand new roller coaster called Mandrill Mayhem, which is a B and okay, and this is going to be quite a mouthful, a B and M launch shuttle wing coaster. Yeah, it's going to be a wing coaster. It's going to have four launches um, in total, and it's going to be a shuttle coaster as well. And now Chesterton only builds family roller coasters. However, this one is going to take it to a bit more of a thrill level because this one contains a zero G roll over the entrance portal for Lodge Mansion, which is going to be an absolutely beautiful photo opportunity. It's going to launch backwards out of the station into a beyond vertical spike, which is obviously another thing that 
separate it from a regular family coaster. I'm going to back down the vesicle spike through the second launch through the station. I'm going to turn left into the zero G roll as I make a, make a little like left S bend and go into the third launch into the massive centerpiece of the attraction, which is going to be a 360 degree helix, which is also acts as a spike area for the attraction. It's going to spiral around a massive Jaguar shrine and it's going to go backwards through the layout into the station. It's going to be absolutely fantastic and the whole area looks awesome and heavily themed. And recently, the Mandrill Mayhem started testing officially and doing all the landscaping of the area now. But they recently confirmed it is opening on the 15th of May 2023, which we kind of predicted anyway because the whole area, as a, for it to open in March, had a lot of landscaping left to do and the ride needed to be tested and so on and so forth and all the theming. So it's great that we now have an official opening day for this brand new huge themed land and I cannot wait for it to open late this year. Also in the news today, Fort Park have officially begun demolition on the final double down drop for Logger's Leap. And this is very, I imagine this is very sad for people who grew up with this attraction when they were kids and people have fond memories of Logger's Leap at Fort Park. Um, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically Logger's Leap was a log flume attraction located at Fort Park in Surrey, England. Uh, it first opened, I think, in like 1989. And... Um, when it first opened, it was probably the most popular attraction at the park, or one of the most popular attractions. It operated all the way up until 2015, which was its final season, and it's been closed since 2016. It's been SBNO since that year. Um, in 2019, the park officially confirms that Logger's Leap would no longer be returning, and they would start dem demolition of it soon. Um, and obviously, like the years passed since 2019. And it still hadn't touched the attraction, it still stood there abandoned. Until 2021, when Fort Park announced a brand new roller coaster entitled Project Exodus as its code name, which is going to go on a site of Logger's Leap, along with the other attractions in Old Town, which were also removed from the area, and Creek Freak Massacre, which was a fan favorite scare maze for Fright Nights. Um, it took almost a year for Project Exodus planning permission to go through. So the only form of activity in the area is they boarded up the whole area and started removing, I believe some of the, they did not even remove some of the female, just left it like abandoned basically that old town area while they were waiting for the planning permission to go through to the local council. In, in September 2022, the plans were officially approved by the local Runnymede's Borough Council. And then in during the close season after Friday nights, the groundwork officially began, which means that Obviously, not the ground, but the demolition, which meant they demolished that entire area, all the theming in, in that little old town section. They demolished Creek Freak Massacre, got rid of Rock Express. Earlier in that season, they also removed Timber Tugboat and Lumber Jump. They were both relocated to. Lumber Jump was relocated to another area in Fort Park and was rebranded as High Striker. And Timber Tugboat was relocated to Chessington. Um, and obviously, months later, and they have finally basically just demolished the rest of the area except for Logger's Leap which they're now demolishing the iconic double down drop of the attraction, which was the final um, major section on the ride. Um, I believe when it first opened, it was the world's tallest log flume. And obviously that drop is one of the most iconic parts of the ride. Um, and obviously it's got quite a history behind it because it was a ride that Princess Diana went on back in the day. And obviously uh, they have now demolished this to make way for Project Exodus. So it is very sad for people who went on the attraction when it was open but I cannot wait to see what the future holds for that site. And finally in the news today, Serengeti Flyer at Bush Gardens Tampa has officially opened. And obviously this is great news for um, Bush Gardens Tampa in Florida. Um, and obviously for this new brand new SNS Screaming Swing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, Serengeti Flyer is a... Um, a brand new for 2023 SNS Screaming Swing located at Bush Gardens Tampa in Florida, USA. And basically what a screaming swing is, we don't know what it is, it's basically like a giant like sort of like arch structure with two like pendulum swings underneath it that both um, swing back and forth in parallel directions. And obviously there have been many of these built over the years. Um, we've got, we've actually got one here in the UK, it's known as Rush at Fort Park. But that one's nowhere near as the scale as the ones in like America. Um, obviously, bear in mind last year, SeaWorld, who is obviously the company that owns Busch Gardens Tampa, 
they also built the world's tallest SNS screaming swing with, I think it's like tidal surge at SeaWorld San Antonio. That was about 135 foot tall, I think. Um, but then they've just topped their own record at Bush Gardens Tampa um, earlier this week with seven getty flyer, which is taken that record and is 137 foot tall. Might not seem like much of a record break, but it's still now officially the world's tallest SNS screaming swing. And it also reaches a top speed of 68 miles an hour, which is absolutely mental. Because imagine considering something like Rush at Fort Park, which a lot of people in this country find absolutely one of the most terrifying attractions at the park. If you think about that, just imagine having like something along the lines of Serengeti Flyer at Fort Park. That would be absolutely mental. Like, literally, that um, Serengeti Flyer is taller than most coasters in the UK. Let that sink in for one second. That is absolutely mental. And obviously this brand new um, ride has opened as part of the, I believe it's an expansion to the same, it's in the same area as like Iron Gwazi, I, well, I assume it is anyway, it's got like the same branding as it, but all like the purple and green and, and things like that. Um, obviously it's not a heavily themed attraction, but it is, it's more for the, like the thrilling aspect of it, like how much adrenaline they can get from the riders of it. Um, and obviously this brand new, um, SNS Screaming Swing looks absolutely fantastic and it, obviously it looks visually stunning as well because the colour scheme on that it really pops in the skyline like you can, it just stands out in front of everything uh, and obviously it, it must be like a great addition to what for like the skyline of the park as well because that, that Bush Gardens Tampa has a fantastic skyline I've got Shikra, Iron Gwazi, Fa Falcon's Fury I think um, they've also got Kumba and now this and then along other attractions as well and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that is it for this week's episode of Coast News. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, then please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you'd like to see in the next video. Bye!